In this video, I want to talk about EQ and perception. Now, I've already spoken about the fact that we hear boosts in level with more sensitivity than we hear cuts in level. And now I want to talk about how we perceive the different frequency ranges. What's really important to understand when it comes to music is when you change anything, it affects everything. For instance, a low frequency boost actually makes the highs and mids seem duller. Listen as I toggle the boost on and off. Likewise, when you boost the high frequencies, you're not just boosting the high frequencies. Psychoacoustically, you're making the mid range seem duller and the basses seem weaker. So, check this out. When you boost the highs and the lows together, it makes the track sound cool, you know, not very warm. That's because most of the instruments speak their voices in that mid-range. So by boosting the highs and the lows, you're taking away their voice. Now, conversely, by boosting the mid-range, you'll make tracks seem warmer. And that has a lot to do with the fact that most of those instruments speak clearly in that mid-range. Of course, these kinds of observations are very subjective, but it is true that changing anything affects everything. And that's why you have to be so careful when making adjustments while mastering. 